there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And on this episode of 3B TV, I just wanted to provide you with a quick update on our chicks in the brooder and how things are going with them. So we've tried a couple of new things this year and uh, by and large, most of it has worked out really, really well. There's one thing that I'm gonna tweak a little bit but overall, things are going very, very well um, up to this point with both our meat chickens and with our layers. Now, on our meat chickens, I think right now we have 20 that have survived up to this point. We have one that seems like he has a little bit of uh, leg problems. And so I may have to uh, call that one um, because I don't want to see any kind of animal suffer on my farm. And um, so I may have to call that one, but I'm just going to give it a couple of days to kind of see how things play out and then we'll kind of go from there. But other than that, everything with the meat chickens is working out really, really well. Um, so let me give you a, a peek at them. So you can see things with these chicks are, are going really well, with the exception of this one right over here. This one right here just doesn't seem to be doing very well. Everybody else is really active, seems very happy. Um, and uh, so I am just really, really overall, um, these meat birds are a lot, uh, a lot nicer um, than, than really what I expected. You can see they're really starting to uh, feather out and uh, they're, they're getting some size on them. In fact, we'll pop over here in a second to the, uh, to look at the um, layers and you'll see that uh, these guys have got quite a bit more size on them than compared to the layers. Now, a couple of things that I'm doing differently this year as I shared with you before, is I've got new feeders in here and new waterers. And right now, I'm really, really liking both of them. Um, I wasn't really quite sure on the waterers, to be honest with you. When I first put them together, they felt a bit chintzy and I just wasn't quite sure how they were gonna hold up. But so far, they're working out really, really well. And I have the least amount of mess and water um, spilt in, in my brooder than I've ever had. Um, the smell is really, really good and clean here. Probably about time to add some new shavings, but I've had problems with them dumping over waterers before. And so this waterer right here, with that hose coming down from that bucket up there is just working out really well. Now you can see there's a few shavings in the bottom of that, so I'm gonna have to do a clean out there, and I'm not really quite sure how that's gonna work out. Um, I'm hoping I can do that without creating too much of a mess, but the so far so good, really, really happy with that watering system. The feeder, I have a love-hate relationship with it. It's not perfect, it's good, but I, I really feel like it needs to have a cover on it. Um, in fact, these guys aren't so bad about it, but over on this side here, I'm having a lot of problems with these chicks over here getting in the feeder and um, pooping in the feed. And so, not really thrilled with that. So you can see these guys here are pretty active. Um, they're a little skittish, but um, I, I don't know if it's just the breeds or whatnot, but uh, they are way more skittish than the meat chickens. Um, but uh, overall, I think everybody's coming along really, really well. And you can see that the size on these guys is definitely, well, they're definitely a lot smaller than the, um, than the uh, meat birds. Um, so those meat birds are really starting to pack on the weight, but uh, these guys over here are doing well. Um, but you definitely can see that the meat birds are progressing at a much faster rate, which is anticipated. That's the reason why I bought them. So, so far, so good. You can see these guys are a bit skittish, um, but these guys over here are doing pretty well, except for that one that I think I may have to call. And now everybody is back at the feeder. So let me provide you with some chick cam here, just because that's always a lot of fun.
So overall, these chicks are doing well. I'm very, very happy with uh, how things are progressing up to this point. Um, in another couple of weeks, hopefully these uh, meat birds will be all feathered out and then I'll be able to get them out onto uh, some grass. And hopefully by then things will start to have greened up and we will have some um, meat birds ready to go. So right now really trying to do my best to keep track of inputs, feed and so forth into the meat birds because my plan is in the fall to uh, offer uh, some broilers for sale. So most of these will probably be for our own consumption, but if you are interested in a broiler or two, just let me know and uh, we should be able to work something out, but I'm not gonna really know pricing until after I know how much has gone into it. But hopefully for the fall, I'll have a good idea as far as what the pricing will be. So until next time, everybody, thanks so much for uh, tuning in. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, if you haven't already, click that little bell so you never miss an entertaining, informative episode of 3B TV. We'll catch you later.